loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Throwing his McCown on third down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And that one good for 16 yards and a first. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Here we go with second and seven. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. And they'll get 14 yards out of it and a fresh shot. some open field here and down he goes but he takes it up to the 40 and a nice carry there of 15 yards really good skillful tough running throughout this contest picked up first down after first down he's got to have a nickname doesn't he how about the human first down machine i think that fits and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37 yard line a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down I don't know about you, partner, but I'm rubbing my eyes after that play. Did we just see that runner not get yardage? A big-time play by the defense. It does happen occasionally, even against the best running backs who are having big days. Now they'll run it on the toss. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Call it a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get. That type of a game. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead. convert on third. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Well, I'd have to say in that situation, they're lined up for a running play. It's only third and two. Some element of the pass, but that was really well blocked. Probably call those gravy plays, right, if you're the offensive coordinator? No doubt about it. All you're trying to do is get the two yards necessary for a first down. Then you look up, you've got a whole lot more than that. Yeah, they did. They got a lot more than that indeed. Now they'll run it. 